Hello web devs! In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this amazing CSS hover effect. Making this 3D flip card from scratch is just a couple of easy and simple steps, okay? We're gonna be using Visual Studio. This is our bullet plate. And let's put here our title, okay? Let's put something like flip card, okay? Flip card. All right. We're going to be using Font Awesome because you're going to have some icons, okay? Some social icons here, okay? And of course, let's create this link for the, our style CSS okay in the body let's create our card mirror it's a container and inside this one we are gonna have just the front and the back let's create the front okay we're gonna put the picture here later on and this is the back Let's put the, the picture here. You can put any picture you want. I chose this one for internet. It's in a the folder image. Okay. And here let's put just image. Okay. Now let's go to the back. In the back we're gonna have this H2 here. Let's create a H2. inside this back content okay let's have this back content here back content middle I'm using Emmet so it make everything easier so inside this one we are gonna have our H2 let's let type web dev and a spam okay made easy And now let's get this more div. This one is the place that we're gonna put our social icons, okay? Social major icons. Let's create four links, okay? They're pointing nowhere. Let's put this one here, okay? They are pointing nowhere. And in here, we are gonna put the icons let's go let's look for facebook first okay let's copy this link here let's paste it in the middle now all we have to do is is copy and paste okay paste everything and let's change the names here okay we don't have don't need to go back and copy everything let's just change the names this one twitter this one is gonna put Instagram and this one is gonna be YouTube oh yeah let's see the live version as you see the picture is very big right now <laughs> I'm gonna try to make it smaller and put side by side so you can see everything we are doing here Let's put VS Code here in the left and our page on the right so you can see everything we're doing, okay? Let's try to make it easier for you. And here it is the web dev made is and the icons are all here. But it's horrible. Let's right now use our style CSS and try to make it look better okay okay let's go to the tag some stuff here everything here margin is gonna be zero okay uh, pairing is also zero text decoration we are gonna put none 
because we have those links we don't want the underline on them font family let's use Montserrat I don't know the right pronunciation let's say Montserrat or something like that I'm sorry I don't know how to pronounce that word let's choose a color for the body okay let's body background let's choose f4 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 yeah you can see it change on red now let's talk to the middle position let's put it to absolute top let's put this in the middle okay that's what you are doing right now put all this content in the middle so top 50% this is a nice trick left also 50% and let's use transform now transform translate minus 50% minus 50% Oh yeah, as you can see right now, it's in the middle. We can see we, we did it right, okay? We did it right together and the back content is in the middle. Now let's talk to the card itself. Cursor, pointer. Yeah, as you can see, you can see this little hand. With Three four pixels and height four hundred eighty pixels. That's the size of our card. As you can see, is much better now. You can see that we have three forty by forty eighty. It's nice. Now let's start the front and back. At the same time, okay, with 100%, height also 100%, and this is very important to hear overflow hidden. So you can see we have our card right now back face visibility hide them and also the position okay position let's set it to absolute all right box shadow just to make it a little more beautiful let's put something so zero 1.5 rem for rem rgba let's put the black here black is zero 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 point fifteen okay it's much better now yeah Let's make it a little bigger here so you can see the code. Okay. All right. It's very bad now. You can see there is a shadow effect and the size. Okay. The content is in the middle. But now let's take care of the picture. Okay. Front image. Let's put H 100%. Oh yeah, now we can see all the picture here. This is the front and this content here is going to be in the back. Okay, we're going we're gonna to do that in, in a while. Front. Transform. Perspective. 600 pixels. 
होते चुआए जीरो डिग्री ओके नाउ लेट्स डू विथ द बैक इट्स आर विथ द बैक लेट्स पुट सकॉल हियर लेट्स पुट द बैक ग्राउंड या बैक ग्राउंड लेट्स चूज वन दैट फिट विथ द फ्रॉन्ट ओके समथिंग समथिंग ब्लू बिकॉज इट इज ब्लू एंड देर इज रेड इन द फ्रॉन्ट सो लेट्स चूज समथिंग लाइक लेट मी सी जीरो जीरो एट Two C eight. Oh yeah, it's a nice color. Nice color. Okay. So now let's use a transform. You're gonna have the perspective six hundred pixels, and also the rotate. Let's put here. One eighty degrees. Okay, but if you put one hundred eight degrees, you don't see the back. So I put, but let's put it back to zero. Then we're gonna work with the back of our card. After that, you can put it back. Okay, I hope I'm not gonna forget that. Let's go to the back content. Color. Let's use two C three E fifty. Okay. Let's align the text to center. Text align zero with one hundred percent. Okay. Looks like we need a uh, margin here. Okay, they're too close. Let's put some margin here between the icons and the text. Dot S M margin twenty pixels. Top and bottom zero pixels, left and the right, and. Here it is. Now we have this nice margin. Now let's start our links here. Okay, they are they're together. They are not nice. They are not natural. But we are going to change it right now. Okay, let's start today. S A S M A. Okay, display inline flex. As to give the uh, Nice size. They are too small right now, with 400 pixels or oh, 40 pixels. Not 400; it's too big. And uh, height, the same thing, 40 pixels. Justify content. Let's put them in the the middle, so center. Okay. Align items also center. Let's choose a color now. Okay, color is this one. We used that before. Let's use this one again. Font size. Let's use eighteen. Let's say eighteen pixels. Let's put here uh, transition. You can use this nice hover effect on the back of the cards here too for seconds, and that's it for now. Okay, you can see there is space in between the icons. They look much better now. Look at that, much better. Yeah, there is space. They are in a serum. And everything looks good. Now let's make up that hover effect that I showed you in the beginning. Okay, S M 
A for the link and hover. Background. Let's choose this color here, okay? And color white. Let me see here. Yep, it's working all right, but this is square <laughs> and that's not nice. So let's change this. How? We're going to use body radius. This is a nice trick also. Body radius, let's use 50% to make it round. Let me see here. Oh yeah, now they are round. They are nice. And you have a nice hover effect here, okay? Now let's take care of our card hover effect. Let's create this one right now. Dot card, hover, and front okay in this in this effect we're going to use the transform okay transform effect let's put it back to allows you to show the the front we are doing that because he was using just the back but now we can put it back to 180, okay? And you're gonna be see, you can see now the front of our card again, like in the beginning, okay? Let's use transform. And perspective, 600 pixels. Let's use voltage, Y minus 180 degrees okay let's copy this one copy and paste here and now let's start to the back the same thing but here we are gonna set to zero degrees okay as you can see we have a ref the 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 who the hover effect but without the transition. So it's very ugly, look at that. <laughs> very ugly effect. We have it, but it's not nice. As that's not natural. So you have to put the transition effect. Let me look for it here. Okay, front and back. And in here, you are gonna put the transition. Transform the time we want here, we want dot six seconds and we want linear. Okay, you can try something else. Let's see here now. Yeah, now it's working. Okay, now it's working. And we have this nice hover effect here. And this is our 3D card. Make sure to click the subscribe button and notification bell somewhere on this page so you can get more videos like this one in the future.